and welcome back to Fikir Fitness TV. I'm your host, Daniel Fikir, founder and CEO of Fikir Fitness, and I'd like to welcome you back, whether you're one of our OGs or if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining in. Now this is a health and fitness food vlog where we show you different tips and recipes that you can use as a beginner. For those of you guys who know, Steph and I, we started this year off with a bang. We just had our baby. We just had our baby. So we've been caught up with the hustle and bustle of being new parents, but I've realized, well actually God helped me to realize, that I have not given you a recap of our 2022 favorite meals. I will be doing you guys a disservice if I didn't show you my favorite recipes. So I wanted to go back and reflect and show you guys our favorite meals for 2022. Now, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become part of the family. I'm not going to hold you too long. Let's go right into that first dish. So what we're going to do tonight is a lentil soup with potato and roasted broccoli recipe. Mwah! Uh, and it's so simple. So what you're going to need for your ingredients, you'll need, of course, some lentils. We got these from Whole Foods. Uh, you're going to need some garlic. You'll need some diced tomatoes. We have the green wise that's seasoned with basil, garlic, and oregano. It tastes so good. It's so good. Um, you're going to also need some celery. You will also need, of course, a potato. We use the russet potatoes. And some broccoli to roast. So let's get started. So for your lentils, you'll want for every one cup of, well, this is actually a third cup, but for every measuring cup, one, you want to put four cups of water. So one of these equals four of these of water, if that makes sense. So we're doing a full one of these. This is just me and Danny, and it's just a meal for tonight. And then that means four of these. So one, two, three, and four. That was my beautiful wife, Stephanie, who just showed you one of our top meals for 2022. Um, now, for those of you guys who are either trying to increase your protein or you're trying to substitute meat and you're trying to go the vegan route, beans and legumes are a really good way to go. It's very high in protein. That's one that I like to go with, so just want to keep an eye out for. If you just want something hot to eat at night, that's a really great meal. Now, I'm going to take you to one of our fun recipes that we made. Let's go to number two. For the ingredients you're going to be using today with our vegetable pizza, we have first, which is our stone fire naan bread. I love the taste of this one because it gives you that authentic rusted pizza crust. So this is the bread that we normally use. It's um, also, it has no artificial preservatives. So we love to go with this brand. For our toppings that we're going to be adding to the pizza, we have our rainbow bell peppers. We also have organic garlic that we're going to be adding on. My wife's favorite, she loves garlic. We also have jalapeno and onions. If you're one that likes a little bit of heat to your pizza, then you're gonna love adding jalapenos in there. Just gives it that burst of flavor with that. Now for the pizza sauce that we're gonna be using, this one is Bertoli Organic Olive Oil, Basil, and Garlic. Um, Non-GMO, I love this one particularly because again, you don't have to necessarily add too much additional with the basil and garlic. Uh, it all comes in this brand, so you can just add that and you're good. We're also going to be adding, this one's going to be for the last particular, this is just red pepper, crushed red peppers. If you haven't tasted this on pizza before, trust me, just try it. Even if you put it on a crust, just a small piece, uh, it just gives us so much additional spices and flavor and it enhances it. Especially if you're one that likes spicy, you're going to love that with it.
placed our Firestone bread onto a baking sheet with aluminum foil. I just lightly spread a little bit of olive oil on the base so that way it doesn't stick to it while it's cooking. Um, we're gonna start off first with our sauce. So this is the sauce again that we had simmering. You see it? When it comes to the sauce, you can choose whichever is your favorite. Um, there's one that's like a roasted garlic that's also good, but we wanted to go with this one today. So I'm just placing the sauce on. I'm not placing a lot as you can see. What I'm doing is I'm pouring it on and then smearing it on it. So there you go. Place a little bit more. So just placing it on and then smearing it in. I'm bringing it just to the crust or just to the end of the bread. So that way that would be our crust. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one here. Now, if you like, there are options as far as adding vegan cheese or your type of cheese, whether it's mozzarella to this pizza. Um, I haven't found a vegan cheese that I actually like or doesn't taste like cardboard. That's a weird description. I don't know what cardboard tastes like, but I'm pretty sure if they had a taste, it would be those vegan cheese. But if you know one that's actually really good, please let me know, comment below and tell me a brand that you like and that you choose because I would really love to have cheese with this but I haven't found one that I trusted yet. So I'm gonna make it just like this. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. So the ingredients we're gonna be using today for this easy vegan pasta is gonna be Rizzoni. These are the bow ties that you see. We we'll also will be putting in, as far as for garbanzo beans, we have the extra virgin cold pressed olive oil, red wine vinegar. As you see to the right, we have more of our greens that we're gonna be adding in. That's gonna be the super greens from Organic Girl. We also have broccoli florets. In the bag, we're gonna have is fresh parsley. We have also, these are carrot sticks, but we're gonna to try to cut them up to make them almost shredded. And then we also have grape tomatoes. For our seasoning that we'll be putting on, you see there, it's the minced garlic, black pepper, salt, and oregano. So now while we have the pasta boiling and the broccoli steaming, I'm just gonna cut up some of the vegetables from earlier just to make them into small, small bite size. Um, pretty self-explanatory, let's just go right into it. Now for time purposes, I'm gonna speed up these next two for you guys, but we're still gonna show you the recipe. Let's get right into it.
the salad dressing that we use with it is the balsamic vinaigrette skinny girl. It complements it very well. So definitely give it a try, something that you can do for lunch that's light on the stomach and you still feel fulfilling afterwards. All right, bon appetit. And that was our top five of our 2022 recap recipe vlogs. Now, it would be very remiss of me if I didn't show you our failures as well. Most of you guys remember the vegan pancakes. Let's not talk about that one. But if you haven't seen that vlog, go back and watch it. I totally messed up that recipe, but Steph came and saved the day. It was a really good vlog, I have to admit. She, she's, she's a real MVP. But I'm just gonna show you the actual success part of that vegan pancakes, so that way you guys can be able to make this one at home. It's actually really good for a breakfast. Let's get right into it. Good morning, we are back at it again making these pancakes. So now we have the perfect batter. I went ahead and put the same way we did the last one, but now we have the different, we have now the flour. So let's look at the consistency of this. As you can see, it's still smooth, but it's almost like a grit texture. So it's not as liquidy as it was yesterday. So I'm extremely excited. Right now we're gonna be putting the skillet over medium heat, just spraying some non-sticking um, olive oil pan spray on there. And the spray that we're gonna be using, this is Pam olive oil. This is their extra virgin olive oil. This has no artificial preservatives, no flavors, no colors. So you just get the full taste of whatever you're making. So we're gonna go ahead and make these pancakes. I went ahead, I still got my chocolate chips that we're gonna be adding to some of them. I also cut up some strawberries. So we have some strawberry and chocolate chip pancakes today. Let's get to it. Now the trick is, whenever you're making pancakes, the best way to kind of know when to flip it, you start looking for bubbles to kind of form all at the top. You keep your eye on the side just to make sure you're starting to see that browning on the edges. Um, you can always cheat if you like and kind of lift it up a little bit. If you lift it up, you'll be able to see like at the bottom, hey, is it browning? And then from there, that's how we know to flip. What did you think, huh? That strawberry and chocolate pancakes, woo! I can taste that right now. I should go make it, shouldn't I? Anywho, um, just to get back on topic, thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Seriously, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you guys for your support, for your love, for being with us in 2022. This 2023, we are planning on going all out. We have so many new recipes, so many fitness tips, ideas, and again, because of having a baby, we're gonna be adding some baby recipes in there as well. So tag your friends, your family members, anyone who has a baby. We're gonna be adding recipes for all ages. Um, we're really excited for this 2023. We thank you guys again for supporting us. You guys have been amazing. Please, 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 Comment below for any food ideas, any recipes that you'd like to try or you're looking at and you're like, hey, I would wanna know how to do this from a vegan perspective. We'll be more than happy to go along and make these recipes. Honestly, we really do go back and reread these comments because it helps us in the long run to make varieties of recipes as well. As you guys know, we never like to close out without giving you an opportunity to know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. It's a simple prayer, you just repeat after me. It goes, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask you into my heart, I make you my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. It's that simple, folks. If you pray that prayer with us, welcome into the kingdom of God. Now, please get into a Bible-based church where you'll be able to grow spiritually. And if you have any troubles finding one, please get in contact with either myself or Steph, and we'll be more than happy to help you along in that journey. For my OGs, you know what's next. Newbies, come on and say it along with us. Like, comment, subscribe, share, please. <laughs> By doing so, you're just helping us with the algorithm and helping us to share our life stories and recipes with those out there who might be looking to do the same. Again, Warriors, thank you so much for joining in. Looking forward to seeing you next week. God bless and peace.